all rise, the Honorable Commissioner presiding. Well, we're halfway, folks. Week 8 of the fantasy regular season, and as things start to take shape, things are starting to look familiar, aren't they? I mean, it's deja vu. <laughs> the professor in second place, Ken in first place, Carnies and Kugels in the periphery, Andy in last place. <laughs> and we all know how this story ends. This league is going to let Tracy claw his way into the playoffs and upset a currently undefeated juggernaut. Someone who deserves to be there. And if you're not careful, <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but someone could win an unfathomable fourth championship in a row. <laughs> the best in the world at what he does. <laughs> Placing the final plaque on this championship trophy, I'm not even going to entertain that possibility. I mean, let's give it to Ken. Let's give Ken the championship victory he deserves. I mean, you remember when he was in last place, when he wore the shirt, and he came back strong the following season. Everything was there until Tracy stole it away. But now, we have a second chance to balance the scales of the universe. I can't wait to find out who among you will be playing in week 15. <laughs> because as I see it, Ken finishes 12 and 2, the professor finishes 9 and 5, and a few of you finish 7 and 7 and a few others fighting for most points at six and eight squeak into that sixth place. You might say that it's already a foregone conclusion.